Hi, my name is Helmi. I'm one of the associate professors in the Department of Medicine in University of Malaya. My field of expertise is in respiratory medicine, so it's to do with things like asthma, lung cancer, COPD, lots of smoking-related diseases that are basically to do with the lungs. So the Faculty of Medicine in UM has done a lot in terms of research for respiratory medicine. We have a lot of involvement in research that we do together with both the private sector, so with pharmaceutical companies, as well as with other universities, not just locally but internationally. So we look at things like new cutting-edge medication for lung cancer, for example. And lung cancer is one example of an exciting field whereby there are increasingly new treatments that are very individualized in terms of targeting the general population. And it's something that we hope to be able to continue working on over the next few years, if not decades. I think the main thing that every respiratory physician is worried about is the smoking epidemic. So in Malaysia, approximately 40 odd percent of adult males smoke and something like one percent of females smoke but the consequences are dying you're talking about one in two smokers dying eventually of their diseases and these include conditions like COPD, lung cancer and conditions that are not purely related to respiratory like heart diseases, strokes and a number of other cancers of which I won't go into too much detail but this is the main public health concern that we are aware of and something that we're working very hard in conjunction with other universities and also with the Ministry of Health to try and do something about. We are working hand in hand with the Faculty of Medicine to promote and to update the current curriculum. So we're looking into upgrading it, not just to look at things within the local setting, but also to put that in context with developments elsewhere. And one good example is, again, with regards to smoking. With the new curriculum within the Faculty of Medicine, the number of teaching hours that are devoted to tobacco is more than 60, which is a new and, you know, in my opinion, a very exciting new approach to things because it identifies and it recognises that doing something early on, not just in terms of the condition, but also in terms of getting to medical students is a very important aspect that we will be able to focus on. UM has the facility to help you get exposure to all these different conditions. So you work within a centre that's well experienced, but it's also at a situation, we also had a situation where you have tertiary level care. So you are able to not just work within your own field, but work very closely with other specialties such as cardiothoracic surgeons and radiologists who will be able to help you perform to your best with regards to providing services and also with regards to research. The main thing that would be helpful for most of us is if we can stop smoking ourselves or if we get our loved ones, our friends and family to stop smoking. It's very important, not just in terms of the short term, but in terms of the long term. And I do believe that we all know the dangers and the consequences of smoking, but perhaps what we're not so aware of is how to get help with regards to stopping smoking. And this is one thing that we are hoping to develop with the Ministry of Health with regards to ensuring there's easy and multiple access to smoking cessation services, not just for smokers, but for those around them who will be able to help them quit.